So I walked in on my stepbrother watching an adult movie. And um, it was around the time that I was thinking that I might be into the same sex, but wasn't quite sure. And this is like one of the things that really cemented in my mind that yes, I actually was. And like I said in my first story about this, we ended up watching the one of those movies together, which was my first time watching any sort of adult film like that. And um, nothing ended up happening. Like we just watched. But like I also said, we watched it many more times and things did end up happening. See, after that first time, we had talked about it together multiple times when our parents were gone about how hot it was like to see a girl and a guy do that on camera. And I would just go along with it. Like I was so into that girl too, but really I was just paying attention to the guy, which was quite confusing for me at the time, but also kind of like a revelation that I was into guys. And it was even more confusing that I was even more excited by the fact that I could look right over and tell that my stepbrother was pitching tents. So our parents left us home alone again and about a week later after the first time we watched that and my stepbrother asked me if I wanted to come in his, into his room and watch one of those movies again with him. And of course I was down. <laughs> I didn't have access to that stuff on my own so I wanted to see that and I wanted to honestly see him get excited too. So we go into his room, we close the door and he already has one pulled up on his computer. So he clicks play and we start watching it. And it was actually a hilarious movie. Like they had a, a full on plot going on, right? So we're kind of like waiting for things to happen or at least I was, I'm just waiting for the guy to take it off and get to see what he's working with. But I'm pretending like I'm waiting for the girl to do that. Just like my stepbrother was so excited for the girl to do that. He kept talking about how he couldn't wait for her to get going. And before they had taken off anything, I had already glanced over and he was pitching a tent again. And instead of like the last time where I was like hunched over, like hiding the fact that I was doing the same thing, this time I sat back and like made it really obvious that I was also pitching a tent. And I remember doing that at the time because I was really curious, like, is this just a phase for me? Is it normal for other guys to be curious about other guys, especially considering the fact that we're stepbrothers, even though we're not bro like blood related? I wanted to see if he was gonna glance over at mine. So I have a million things running through my head as we're watching this movie. And you know, as we're watching, the movie progresses and they start doing things together. And I start getting to see everything that this guy is working with. And I'm just like mesmerized by his entire body, especially certain parts of it. And unlike the last time where neither of us like touched anything on ourselves at all, this time my brother made this move stepbrother made this move <laughs> that would be weird if it was my brother <laughs> hey stepbrother made this move where he like reached down and just kind of like grabbed on it and like pushed it forward kind of thing he didn't he wasn't going at it or anything but he, he just adjusted and i'm like pretending to look at the screen but really i'm like looking over here at it the whole time he's doing that watching him adjust and then it like bounced back and i was pitching a tent before like i said but this got me like at Full, full attention. So after a couple more minutes went by, I reached down and kind of did the same thing. Just, you know, did a little push and an adjustment. But he didn't look over. He didn't like look and see what I was doing, at least not that I could tell. And that made me kind of even more confused and kind of confirmed in my mind that like, he's very straight and I'm for some reason into guys, which like I said, was very confusing for me because society taught us at the time that that was wrong but as soon as i adjusted he started like adjusting a few more times like i could tell that he was doing it in a way that would feel good for himself it's just on occasion not consistently right and i started doing the same thing and then he even brought up and started talking to me about not just how hot it was what they were doing but like him wondering what it would feel like for a girl to be doing that for him now of course i've taken care of business at this point so like i i knew what that felt like on my own, but I also didn't know what it felt like to have another person do that for me. But he asked me if I had ever done that to myself and I said no, like I was totally lying, but I said no that I had never ever touched myself in that way. And he was like shocked, like he was like, wait, really? Like, why not? And I just kind of played dumb. I honestly really didn't know what to say. It was, it was just like a really awkward subject to be talking about, like let alone be watching with my stepbrother. So he started explaining to me all about like how you could do that for yourself and it felt really good. And like when you've been doing it long enough, then you come to this kind of 
conclusion where you have to clean up a little mess afterwards. And then he also said that he does that every single time he's watching those movies when I'm not there. And then I think I said something like, oh, that's cool. Like, I, I want to try that sometime. I honestly can't remember exactly what I said. But then he said that we could just start doing that while watching it then and there. So we did, but both of us were nervous. Like, we didn't take anything out. We just were kind of like, you know, making ourselves feel good. But we didn't take our shorts off or anything like that yet. So now we're watching the movie, and both of us are kind of like um, giving ourselves a little massage. And I'm very much staring over at what he's doing over his shorts and like paying even more attention to that than I am to the movie. We were doing that for like 30 minutes or something like that. And I was kind of like waiting, hoping to see a little wet spot or something. Like, <laughs> I, you know, I was curious. I couldn't help it. But, um, our parents were not gone that long. I think they had gone to the grocery store or something. I don't know. So we knew that they were beginning, like, would be coming home soon. And we heard their pu car pull back in the driveway. So we had to stop. So we shut everything down on his computer really fast, acted as if like we were just hanging out. We turned on the Xbox. And before our parents walked in the door, he kind of asked me, like, didn't that feel really good? And I was like, yeah, it, it felt good. But like, I, I kind of like don't get it. Like I was literally totally lying. And he, in so many words, offered to have me come watch that with him again, and like that we would basically do that, but make sure that we finish the entire job, and so that I would totally understand what that feels like, which of course I was on board with. So I was like, cool, like as soon as they're gone again, let's do that. But when the time actually came and that started happening, I was not expecting what happened, like, to be what was actually gonna happen. So if you wanna hear more about that, hit follow and I'll tell another story about that one.